that's Adrian Barbeau. Oh, that's <laughs> Hi, I'm Sandy Spracklin. And I'm Taylor McGilvery. Please join us for a primetime edition close-up tonight. Well, each week, we give you an in-depth look at America's most celebrated personalities. Who can forget our exclusive interview with Dustin Hoffman? Ah. I asked Dusty how he feels having to let go of a character once the filming ends. What did he say? Well, let's find out. Ah, uh, come on. What do you think, man? How would you like to have to wave goodbye to Tootsie and then when you ask for a forwarding address, she thumbs her nose at you, man? <laughs> I promised my wife I wouldn't cry and look at me. I'm pulling a Patrick Swayze here, man. <laughs> then we stripped away the lie. Oh, come on, come on, come that on, was really Rosie Perez. I get asked that question a lot, and I'm very tired of it. This is the way I talk. This is my real voice. I am no lawyer. You're calling me a friggin' lawyer, and I am no lawyer. No, 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 no. I am a liar. I was born in London, and I studied at the Old Vic. But that's Tonight, on tonight's edition of Primetime Edition Close-Up Tonight, we look at Hollywood super agent Neil Sussman. And do yourself a favor, don't bleed near this shark, because I'm telling you, he is one tough customer. Sterling, we have favored nations with Whoopi, and you know it. Now, if you want my client to have any sense of importance in your movie, you're going to meet his demands. Ow! Oh. What is the big deal? We're not pulling Eddie Murphy time here. We're simply asking for a yellow brick road from the Winnebago to the set and a functioning bidet. Now, this is not the moon. Mm -mm. So join us tonight. Taylor McGilvery. And Sandy Moneybag Spracklin. What? Get out of here! <laughs> she just signed a new contract. The woman is rich. I feel like you're in the poor house, right? <laughs> Later tonight on NBC. <laughs> You got the giggles, girl. I'm gonna plead the fifth on that one. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like you just had a fifth. Oh, I'm out of here. <laughs> Hello. My name's Forrest. Forrest Gump. People call me Forrest Gump. All my life, I've been one lucky guy. Oh? I got to go to college because I could run like the wind blows. Oh. That was lucky. Yes. Well, I'm David Letterman's mother, and I got to be a big TV personality just because David used to call me on the phone. No kidding? No. I guess that makes you lucky, too. Yes, it does. <laughs> I was in Vietnam. And because of my running, mm. I got me a Medal of Honor and got to meet the President of the United States. Oh, that's wonderful. Mama was so proud. Oh. Well, I got to go to the Winter Olympics and meet Nancy Kerrigan way back before she turned bitter. Oh, that's pretty lucky. Yes, it is. Okay, I can top that. Oh? In Vietnam, I was wounded in the buttocks Ooh. and got to meet another president of the United States. Oh, my goodness. That is lucky. You can say that again. Yes. Oh, there's my bus. Good luck to you. Thanks. But I won't need it because I'm already lucky. Look out! A box of chocolates. My mama always said, life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Gump chocolates, because life is like a box of chocolates. Mmm, shrimp. See, I told you I was lucky. 
kid watches TV. He sees an action hero. He wants the action hero. You go looking for the action hero. Not the green one, not the red one, but the blue action hero. The first store is out of action heroes. The fifth store only has red action heroes. You find